Hello, it's me, Philip. And in this lovely purple bag, there is, a, or there should be, a Galaxy Invaders 1000 Spares or Repairs. Okay. Right, first switch on. Is it going to work? And the seller had it up for £15 plus £2.94 postage. They accepted my offer of £12 plus £2.94, bringing the total just shy of £15. I like this one. It came with a battery cover and it looks like it takes... I wonder if that's four batteries in there at the same time. The contacts don't look too bad, so hopefully it's something a bit more interesting than faulty contacts. So we'll give it open and we'll find out what's wrong with it. It is a C2001 and this one C945. It's very light. That's my first impressions anyways. So this was made in 1980. It's got an on off switch, three levels of difficulty, a bright red fire button and a joystick for left and right which feels a bit spongy. Hmm. It takes what looks like four AA batteries. That might be for a power adapter, but the stick has missing on the back, so I don't know how much it takes, but I'm assuming it's four times by one and a half, so it's six volts. But the first thing we'll do is we'll get some batteries in and see that it doesn't come on. Presumably it doesn't come on. Right. Batteries. Okay, is it going to work? Right, first switch on. Um, it's it's working. What am I going to do now? Um, well, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. That's the end of the video. Oh, no. I'm going to see if I can clean this up. I'm going to have to open it up. The trouble is... I bought this because the seller said it wasn't working. So, is this an eBay win? Or, an, or a fail? This is supposed to be a repair channel. I've got, other than a joystick not working very well. Let's open it up and give it a, see if we can give it a clean out. I was quite lucky to get this for £15. Some eBay sellers are asking silly prices. I had a grey one of these when I was younger, which also featured on the Ahsoka TV series, which was spotted by hundreds of people. This little joystick's not working very well. There's nothing in there which would stop it. Is that going to come off? Yep. So we've got a few caps, a couple of little transistors, what looks like... That looks like a DC to DC converter. Lots of resistors. That's obviously the power up here power jack. The main chip is underneath the board there, look. I'm not going to try to get underneath to see where it is. 
especially seeing as the machine's working. I have a hunch there's nothing underneath on the other side of that board. It's all going to be on top, I would imagine. So what I can do, I can see if I can get some contact clean having these switches. But I'm just wondering why that doesn't go back. I wonder if there was a little bit of sponge in there, which would just push it back in. I don't want to go too crazy with it. This is just an air duster. All I can assume is that the cellar had either dead batteries, no batteries, or the contacts need a bit of TLC. They don't look too bad. I can give them a bit of a clean. See if I can bend this one back out a bit. All right, this is contact cleaner. I don't think I'm going to go into there. It looks like there's a little ball bearing in there. I wonder if that's a ball bearing. They don't make switches like that anymore. These are proper clunk, click, every trip type of switch. I don't know if there's something missing from here. It's 44 years old. You'll have to expect some wear and tear on it. Those little transistors, this one is a C2001 and this one C945. Like I say, I cannot see what that chip is underneath there because I'm not going to risk taking that off just to be able to read it. I'll give this a bit of a clean. I'm surprised to see some screws on the inside holding this plastic fascia plate on. Everything would be just glued into place now. Oh, hold on. Fire button. I'm assuming the battery contacts were why it didn't work for the cellar. Now I don't want to bend these too much in case they snap. You see that one's probably not a, got a great contact on. So I'm just going to use this little fiberglass pen. And I've got a cotton bud with some IPA. But these look fine. There's not a great deal of muck coming off them. There's no point going too crazy. Let's try that again. I wonder if the sellers just put the batteries in the wrong way around. They do clip in well. They're nice and secure. Watch it not come on. Straight on. Now it's flashing on the screen, but it's not flashing in real life. And the button, the joystick does work. I'm obviously really good at it because I've got 90 points already. What's the difference between level one and level three? Level one, The aliens hardly ever shoot at all. It's really slow. So if I put it onto level three, 
There's a lot more. There's a lot more shooting on level three. Definitely. So the level, difficulty level, relates to how how many bullets they fire back. Brilliant. Well, I don't know what to make of this. It's it's a good result if you wanted to buy one of these, but perhaps not a good result if you wanted to buy one of these to repair for your YouTube channel. So did you have one of these? Are you old enough to have one of these as a kid? I had the grey version when I was a kid, and that's all you had. I've noticed there's a small piece of plastic missing from the bottom corner here. But I'm not going to cry about it. I'm using furniture polish for this. It's safe to use on plastic there. There's too many people using IPA to clean things. It's too strong to use on certain plastics, especially um, transparent plastics. Made in Taiwan. Well, it's cleaned up all right. Not that there was much wrong with it in the first place. It's a shame about the missing sticker. Yeah, still working. Working fine. So that's it for today's video. I've only been recording for 28 minutes and by the time I edit that down, it's going to be a short one. Unfortunately, I can't help it if it works, can I? I could have taken something out and short-circuited something and opened it up and fixed it. But uh, that would be cheating, wouldn't it? 1980. It's a no-fix, unfortunately. Or fortunately. I cannot decide if the no-fix is a fortunate thing or an unfortunate thing. But that's it for today's video. If you've got a bit of nostalgia for these, I hope you enjoyed it. If you came for a fix and are disappointed, feel free to leave a dislike. And I hope to see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.